Thank you, BJ, for your kind introduction. And thanks to the executive board of Phi Alpha Delta International for launching the Mora D. Corrigan Lifetime Service Award and naming me as the first recipient. I am so honored. I'm also surprised and delighted that you found me after all these years. I am sorry that my schedule does not permit me to be with you in Scottsdale, but I'm glad to be with you remotely. Appearing remotely was not an option at my first Phi Alpha Delta convention, and neither was being a woman delegate, and that's why I'm here. I was the first woman admitted to Phi Alpha Delta in September 1970 at the National Convention in New Orleans. The delegates voted at that meeting to change the Constitution to admit women as members. How did this come about and what was my role in it? In 1969, I was a first year night student at the University of Detroit Law School. A mere handful of women were in the law school at that time. I saw an ad for Phi Alpha Delta on the bulletin board at the school. When my grandson was listening to me practice this speech, he asked me, what's a bulletin board, Nana? Well, it's how we communicated before we had the internet and Instagram. I wanted to meet other law students and to learn about our profession. So I went to the meetings of our local Frank Murphy chapter of PAD, and I was welcomed by my male colleagues. In the spring of 1970, we learned that women were not allowed to be members of Phi Alpha Delta because the national constitution precluded it. So our local chapter voted unanimously to send student bar president John Conlin and me to New Orleans to see if we could bring about a change. When I arrived, I presented my credentials, but I was not allowed to be seated on the floor. As I watched from the hotel balcony, a debate ensued and a motion to amend the constitution later passed with about 80% of the vote. And so history was made. I graduated from law school in 1973, and I've served nearly 50 years as a lawyer, 40 of those in public service. I've been a state and federal prosecutor, an appellate judge on our state court of appeals and state Supreme Court, including terms as chief judge and chief justice, and I was director of the Department of Human Services. I was a visiting fellow in poverty studies at the American Enterprise, and now I'm counsel at Butzel Long in Detroit. It has been a gratifying and fulfilling life in our profession. If you're interested in public service, I urge you to pursue your dream and enjoy the journey. Thank you so much.